Hello everyone, my name is Faisal Nadeem and welcome to our another video on job interview training course. In this video, I will teach you how to prepare for a finance assistant job interview. If you are applying for a finance assistant role in any organization, make sure to stay tuned to this video because I promise to help you pass your interview at the first attempt. And to achieve this objective, I'm sharing with you the top 8 most important commonly asked finance assistant job interview questions along with their sample answers. I will also let you know the purpose of asking each question from the hiring manager so you can create your answer by including all those important things that I will teach you in this video. I have already uploaded a video on finance assistant job description that can also help you a lot in your interview preparation. The link is in the description of this video. Very quickly before we get started, if you are watching my video for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming career focus content. Alright, let's jump in. So the first important question that you should need to prepare for is, can you explain your experience with financial data entry and accounting software? Basically the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that, your interviewer wants to assess your familiarity with accounting principles and more importantly your proficiency in using accounting software for data entry and financial analysis. So how you can answer to this particular question is that, well in my previous role I was responsible for accurately inputting financial transactions into the accounting system, reconciling accounts and generating financial reports using software such as QuickBooks and Excel. I have a strong understanding of double entry accounting principles and I am comfortable navigating various modules within accounting software to perform tasks efficiently. Question number 2. How do you ensure accuracy and completeness when processing financial transactions? Basically the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to evaluate your attention to detail and more importantly your ability to perform financial tasks accurately to maintain data integrity. So how you can answer to this particular question is that, well to ensure accuracy and completeness, I meticulously review supporting documentation such as invoices, receipts and bank statements before processing financial transactions. I cross reference transaction details with corresponding entries in the accounting system and reconcile discrepancies promptly. Additionally, I adhere to established procedures and internal controls to minimize errors and ensure compliance with regulatory requirements. Question number 3. Can you discuss your experience with accounts payable and accounts receivable processes? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to assess your familiarity with accounts payable and accounts receivable functions and more importantly, your ability to handle invoicing payment processing and collections effectively. So how you can answer to this particular question is that, well in my previous roles I have managed accounts payable tasks such as invoice verification, payment processing and vendor communications. I am proficient in handling vendor inquiries, reconciling vendor statements and maintaining accurate accounts payable records. Additionally, I have experience with accounts receivable tasks including invoicing customers, monitoring receivables aging and following up on overdue payments to ensure timely collections. Question number 4. How do you prioritize tasks and manage deadlines in a finance assistant role? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that, your interviewer wants to evaluate your organizational skills and more importantly your ability to manage workload effectively in a fast paced finance environment. So how you can answer to this particular question is that, well I prioritize tasks based on deadlines, importance and potential impact on financial operations. I utilize to-do lists, calendars and task management tools to keep track of pending assignments and allocate time and resources accordingly. Additionally, I communicate proactively with team members to coordinate efforts and address any potential bottlenecks or conflicts that may arise. Question number 5. How do you handle confidential financial information and maintain data security in your work? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to assess your integrity and your understanding of the importance of safeguarding sensitive financial data. So how you can answer to this particular question is that, 
Well, I understand the critical importance of maintaining confidentiality when handling financial information. I adhere to strict data security protocols and access controls to prevent unauthorized access or disclosure of sensitive financial data. I ensure that confidential documents are stored securely, both electronically and physically, and that access is restricted to authorized personnel only. Additionally, I follow best practices for data encryption, password protection, and secure file sharing to mitigate risk of data breaches or security incidents. Question number six. Can you discuss a time when you identified and resolved a discrepancy or error in financial records? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to evaluate your problem-solving abilities and more importantly, your attention to detail in identifying and rectifying financial discrepancies. So how you can answer to this particular question is that well, in a previous role, I noticed a discrepancy in the reconciliation of bank statements where a deposit was recorded twice in the accounting system. To resolve the issue, I conducted a thorough review of transaction records and identified the duplicate entry. I reversed the duplicate transaction, adjusted the affected accounts, and updated the reconciliation report to reflect the corrected balance. By addressing the discrepancy promptly, I ensured the accuracy of financial records and prevented potential misstatements. Question number 7. How do you stay updated on changes in accounting regulations and best practices? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to assess your commitment to professional development and more importantly, your ability to adapt to changes in accounting standards and regulations. So how you can answer to this particular question is that well, I stay informed about changes in accounting regulations and best practices through continuous learning and professional development activities. I regularly attend training seminars, webinars and conferences hosted by industry organizations and regulatory bodies to stay abreast of new developments. Additionally, I actively participate in online forums and discussion groups to exchange knowledge and share insight with peers in the finance and accounting community. Question number 8. Can you describe your experience with financial reporting and analysis? Basically, the purpose of asking this particular question from your interviewer is that your interviewer wants to evaluate your analytical skills and more importantly, your ability to interpret financial data to generate reports and provide insights for decision making. So how you can answer to this particular question is that Well, in my previous roles, I have prepared various financial reports including balance sheets, income statements and cash flow statements to communicate the financial performance of the organization to stakeholders. I am proficient in using Excel and other analytical tools to analyze financial data, identify trends and generate meaningful insights. Additionally, I have experience with budgeting and forecasting processes where I collaborate with stakeholders to develop accurate financial projections and monitor performance against targets. So there you have it, 8 most important commonly asked finance assistant interview questions along with their sample answers. I have already uploaded a video on finance assistant job description that can also help you a lot in your interview preparation. The link is in the description of this video. Always remember that practice makes perfect, so take these answers as a starting point and tailor them to your own experiences and skills. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe our channel Knowledge Topper and also give us a thumbs up as well. You can also share it with anyone you think could benefit from it and don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future video topics. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next video on Knowledge Topper. Until then, keep striving for professional success. Have a good day.